Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. A lot going on, child. Once again, Scam Kingston is trending. Okay, I've been talking about this man for years and his nonsense. Um, when it first came out that he was once again arrested and this time his mother was arrested, let me show y'all what I wrote five days ago. People try to say, oh, he wasn't really arrested. It was just the mama. Oh, you know, Sean didn't even do nothing. For free my nigga Sean. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So now more information is coming out. So let me share my screen with you guys. This is what's going on with Mr. Kingston here. All right. So this is the the article that came out five days ago, I was down in Texas when I seen this. You can see the picture of his mama in handcuffs. And so I wrote this. I said, this man has been scamming and stealing for years. I guess it finally caught up to him, hashtag age of Aquarius. And then um, I was replying back to somebody else. Oh, I said, okay, I see he learned it from his mama. I remember when he stole that million dollar watch. Uh, somebody else was like, you don't be forgetting. And I said, LOL, I don't forget nothing. This man has stolen everything from jewelry to private jets, even bottles of lean. He's a thieving clown. So again, okay, this man has been out here scheming and scamming for years. And so I, I feel no ways. I'm glad that his scammy ways have finally caught up to him. He tried to even come back and gaslight the public and say, oh, you know, people were hating. Um, you know, it's all good. He's fine right now. I see he's a fat phase on liar. He's also a fat phase on scammer. Okay. I knew he was lying. You don't get rated like that and nothing really happened. So now more information has come out. So let's go ahead and watch the news article. And I'm going to bring y'all down memory lane with all the scams that this man has been attached to. Well, not all of them, just a few, because there's, there's so many to keep up with. This man been scheming and scamming since at least 2013. That's how him and the game first got into it. But, um, so this is what, uh, hold on. Okay, we're gonna watch the news, the news uh, story first, and then we'll read the TMZ article that came out today, okay? John, John Kingston and his mother both taken into custody, allegedly stealing more than a million dollars. Thanks again for joining us here on ABC7 Hulu and wherever you stream. I'm David Ono. I'm Ellen Leva. Sean Kingston was arrested in San Bernardino County just hours after his mother was arrested during the SWAT raid of their Florida home. And now with his news reporter Ashley Mackey joins us now with more on the charges being levied against the singer and his mom. Ashley? That's right, Dave and Ellen. Sean Kingston and his mother are both facing several charges related to fraud and theft. On Thursday, we reported that the two were arrested. In an Instagram post that's been since taken down, Kingston wrote, I'm good and so is my mother. My lawyers are handling everything as we speak. Well, today, his mother, Janice Turner, stood before judge. Way too Making American singer Sean Kingston best known for his 2007 hit Beautiful Girls is being held at the High Desert Detention Center in Adelanto, California, after a SWAT team raided his Florida home mansion. It was there in South Florida that his mother, 61-year-old Janice Turner, was arrested on fraud and theft charges. Turner and her attorney appeared before a judge Friday morning. She faces eight charges, including grand theft, fraud, and organized scheme to defraud. Criminal use of personal identification information, count seven, grand theft greater than $100,000, and count eight, criminal use of personal identification information, I do find probable cause. Kingston, whose real name is Keyshawn Anderson, was arrested without incident in San Bernardino County. He was performing at a park in Fort Irwin more than 30 miles outside of Barstow. Several items were seized during the raid on his home in Florida. An attorney present during the raid filed a lawsuit against Kingston, accusing him of paying only $30,000 for a 17-foot TV system that cost $150,000. He has basically a sales pitch that he goes through to uh, defraud people. Uh, he induces them into giving him really expensive things. We know that our property is uh, inside this house right here. 
Janice Turner's attorney asked the judge to consider dropping the bond amount from 20,000 each count to 10,000 each count. But given that Turner has been charged for similar crimes in the past, the judge found the bond amounts appropriate. Reporting live. All right. So y'all just saw that article. Um, I mean, not the article, the news story. First of all, I look like somebody done stole Sean Kingston mama wig. I didn't know her mugshot looked like that. Scared the hell out of me. I'm like, damn, because she was in court with that head wrap on. So that's the only picture I saw was the head wrap. I wasn't ready for the mugshot. So damn, they done jacked her damn wig. All this stealing going on. Hair lies starting back here. Like, what the fuck? Okay, anyways, him and his scheming ass mama, I'm glad they refused to lower, that they did not lower her bail. They've been out here scheming and scamming folks for years. I don't feel bad for them at all, okay? Because again, this man has tried to perpetuate and shame his fans into believing that he was living this, you know, this opulent lifestyle and, you know, everybody else is broke and, you know, how they like to, you know, nan nana boo boo people and shit like that and act like, you know, everybody else is struggling and they're way up here. And let's not forget, for a while he was using, that was one of the games that he would run. He was like, yeah, Justin Bieber is my best friend. Cause you know, they, they kind of hung out for a while. They did lean together back when Justin was running around with a little twist and acting bad and shit. So like for years he would go around like, yeah, Justin Bieber is my best friend. And you know, just let me get this jury. Um, we'll, you know, we'll pay for it in like a week or two. And so, you know, he would show people pictures of him and Justin together, and they just, based off of that, they'd give him thousands of dollars. Y'all remember that? Thank you, Janissa. They would, somebody said they don't repo the mama's wig. Y'all, <laughs> y'all play too much. They said they repo the wig, honey. They said we take it back the TV, the jury, and the wig, bitch. You didn't pay for that lace front. It's coming with us. Y'all play too much. But yeah, he would go around telling people, yeah, Justin Bieber is my best friend. And you know what I'm saying? I'm getting the jury for him. We'll pay you next week. And people will believe him. Because you know, Sean Kingston, he had a you know a pretty big following. You know, at the time, Justin Bieber is a mega star. So you're thinking he's good for it. So then he'd be, you know, on social media, flossing his new jury. And they would never get the money or the jury back. Like this, this young man been scamming for a long time and it's a shame. And I'm glad it's finally caught up to him because instead of him living a humble life, like let, let's think about it. That song, Suicide, whatever the hell the song was called, I liked it. Your way too beautiful girl. That was my jam. Okay. So when that song came out, that was years ago. Like I remember my babies being little dancing to that song. Like has he really had a hit since then? Like, I'm not understanding why people, like, still trust him. Oh, it's called Beautiful. I said the suicide song. I'm sorry, child. I'll be forgetting the names of these signs. Beautiful girls, okay? All right. So my thing is, that song is old as hell. Like, let's not act like this song came out in, like, 2018. This song came out in, like, 2000, I don't know, 8 or something like that. I mean, years ago. Why is he still able to live off of that song? Like, I get, you know, he gets little royalty checks and stuff like that. But remember, he was also complaining about being in bad deals and signing bad deals. So his royalty checks can't be that damn big. Like, the song is all right. Like, 2009, yeah. Old as hell. Like, I saw my baby being in a pamper dancing to the song. So I'm like, well, how does he still have all this money? I don't know no other valuable businesses that he has running, but he has, you know, 100 inch TVs and all this jewelry. Where's the money coming from? It doesn't make any sense. I remember one point in time, him and the mama were selling jerk sauce. I don't know nobody who bought it, but I mean, they were selling jerk sauce. But other than that, what other businesses has he had since this song? <laughs> since this song? Okay. Now, remember, a few years ago, he tried to shit on the fans. We're going to go back down memory lane. You know, we don't forget nothing around here. So he was trying to shit on the fans a few years ago and, you know, let y'all know that he just brought himself a jet. Let's go ahead and watch these videos, child. Sean Kingston bragging about his jet. <laughs> All right, y'all go ahead and watch this. You know what I'm saying? I'm back on my head. We're doing maintenance today, you know what I'm saying? Making sure everything is right. I got a Vegas coming up on the 27th, so we gotta be sure. Come on, Brad. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's just start it, baby. Don't play around. Don't play around. Don't play around. Yeah. 
This is the first time I'm hearing my engine start on the jet. It sounded real good last time I bought it. There was no AC on it. We had to do a lot of the wires. Now, the engine is on. Take me out of it, bro. I'm showing how we live, man. Show how we live, my boy. See how we live. Living good. You dig? So we ain't playing around here, man. That's not that way, man. You see what it is, man. King Stunt. I got my jet. God is amazing. I'm working hard, man. We put in work. I'm on the way to Vegas. Back in my jet. And the fool loves to bring up God. Don't let that God word fool y'all. He loves all oh, all praises due to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus is amazing. He's always bringing up God in his scams. Don't let that shit fool y'all, okay? So now he even had the nerve to do a little song, even sing a jam about this jet. So let's go ahead and listen to his little song here. This dude's a trip. Just bought a jet. I just bought a jet, I just bought a jet, I just bought a Hey, God is amazing. When they tell you they can't, you can't, they hating on you, they want you to stop. They try to just make you get in depression and feel less about yourself. I tell them niggas you. Ah! Hey, I ain't gonna lie, it's a blessing though. Stop the cap. <laughs> seen that years ago we were like okay seriously what song does this man have on the radio that's current for him to be bragging about buying a jet so y'all remember what we just keep that video in mind for all y'all who don't know like the backstory of Sean Kingston that's why when this came out I felt no ways y'all saw my comment five days ago I called him a scammer and kept on scrolling I said about damn time okay so, you know, he's praising God, all oh, praises due to God, and oh, when you're depressed, you get blessed, and all that, whatever the hell, whatever mush mouth shit he was saying, right? So, all of a sudden, <laughs> this white lady pops up, and she's like, yeah, that's our jet, he didn't buy it. And had to know to like argue with this lady back and forth, so she she ends up calling him out. This was all, this <laughs> This was all over social media. So we're going to watch what she has to say in his rebuttal. This dude is a clown. He's a clown. And the thing is, it's not like people woke up and was like, oh, I wonder how Sean Kingston is living. Oh, I hope Sean Kingston buys a private jet. Like we, we just went on about our day. We don't, we didn't care. So for him to like volunteer all of this wealth to us, I, I mean, the, the narcissism. All right, so we're going to watch this. Give me just a second here. Okay, so this is the lady who owns the jet. Story time of how Sean Kingston scammed me and my company. So I am a private jet broker for Nava Jets, and I also run their social media. So one day we get a message from Sean Kingston. He was interested in one of our planes for sale and came to Palm Beach with his family to see the plane. He said he was going on tour and wanted this plane ready soon and there was no Wi-Fi. So we flew the plane from Palm Beach to Fort Lauderdale for our mechanics to install the Wi-Fi for him for it to be ready for his tour. And this was out of our expense. We had to pay the pilots and for the fuel and everything. He came again to Fort Lauderdale, brought his family and friends. Um, we popped the champagnes, we shook hands, agreed on a price and they signed the contract. The contract stated that the payment is due in full within the three days of signing. And Sean was posting that this is his jet, that he bought it with not even a dollar down. He's telling us that we can be in him and Justin Bieber's new music video, um, just leading us on, saying that he would pr promote Nava Jets and just a bunch of crap. When the third day came and the payment was due, they went ghost and they blocked us. They said it was our obligation to help find them a plane since the plane wasn't ready. There was no Wi-Fi installed, um, but we were trying to help them for three weeks to sign the contract so the plane would be ready in time for him to fly to Vegas for his show. But then I googled Sean Kingston and this is what he does. He's a con artist and he's a scammer and he scams people. He was stealing jewelry in New York City and just at the end of the day he's not a good person. And um, I just don't know how you could do that to someone when the contract is signed and I don't know. <laughs> At the net, he played Rick Ross on the biggest boss that you've seen thus far. Sit, sit your ass down. Like I always tell y'all, wealth whispers, okay? 
the brokest mofos be loud like a drum, just, you know, just loud as hell. <laughs> if he was really wealthy and he had it like that, he wouldn't have to keep bragging and doing all the stuff that he's doing. And you notice, once again, he added Justin Bieber to the mix. He's always bringing up Justin Bieber. <laughs> I know Justin is saying something like, now why am I in it? Like he's, he, even for the weed man, like when he was taking lean from people, he'd be like, oh, Justin Bieber needs lean. And they'd be like, oh, okay. And then he would just leave and not pay for the lean. But he would say that it was for Justin Bieber, but it was really for him. Sean Kingston has issues. He has real issues. So now, um, after flexing and praising God, he comes back with this lie. Let me see if I can find the, his response, his rebuttal to like him not wanting the jet. Okay. Here's the video where he's now trying to go at the people for calling him out. So now I'm going to go ahead and share this with y'all. Y'all got to see this. This is his response to the lady. The rapper is now being accused of scamming a private jet company. He said he was going on tour and wanted this plane ready soon and there was no Wi-Fi. So we flew the plane from Palm Beach to Fort Lauderdale for our mechanics to install the Wi-Fi for him for it to be ready for his tour. The contract stated that the payment is due in full within the three days of signing. When the third day came and the payment was due, they went ghost and they blocked us. But Sean defended himself and said that Nava Jets were the real scammers. You lied on me and said it was a G4. When I got there and looked at your jet, your jet was a G3. You said it was built in 2002. Your jet was not built in 2002. Your jet was built in 1985. Nova Jets, you the scammer, and I'm about to expose y'all. Do not buy no planes from Nova Jets. They got old ass planes they're trying to sell to people, and that's it. I'm done with y'all, man, period. I ain't going back and forth by nothing. This case is still ongoing, but is Shine Kingston telling the truth this? First of all, this man is a clown. Okay, so like, let's say like what he's, let's, let's take what are you saying at face value, right? If this was an old ass jet and this jet wasn't good enough and it had all these issues and it was built in the 1900s, um, why is your big ass on the plane showing it off? Talk, my God is good and this is how we're living. Like, it doesn't make any sense. If you were claiming that your mechanic was supposed to check it out and they didn't feel like this was a good enough, you know, private jet, why did you film this for social media? So you had no problem flossing and filming this for social media to get props and press and look like you were bigger than what you are. But then when they asked you to actually pay the bill, now the sudden the jet's not good enough. It's an old ass jet. This dude is a clown. He's a straight up clown. And he's been doing this for years and it's finally caught up to him. Okay. Now let's go uh, pull up the lean situation. They were blasting him a few years ago. They were like all these Reddit threads of him like taking lean and drugs from people like in Miami and in LA. Like he does not pay his bills. He doesn't care what it is. He'll just use Justin Bieber's name and dip. <laughs> so here goes this dude talking about it. Dude um, sold bro uh, like a pint or something and charged it back on PayPal. By the looks of it, like PZ is not the only one. There's actually a couple other people in this thread claiming Sean Kingston owes them money. Now, I can't verify any of this, but you know, I remember seeing all the jewelry store videos of Sean Kingston. So, bro definitely has a reputation out here, but I didn't expect to see bro being came at for a, a pint from two years ago. That's that's funny as so hell. Not the, the news I was thinking I was gonna see this morning. Another thing, they have posted all of bro's information so be careful who you mess with out here all right so apparently sean kingston is out here robbing plugs bro sorry for all the noise i'm outside but apparently this all right so you guys just saw that video and like i said there are whole threads on reddit about sean kingston taking lean weed and whatever you know i don't know what else he's on you know whatever pills whatever but he <laughs> somebody said lay away lean <laughs> nurse courtney said lay away lean yes like he does not pay his tab and he just thinks that he's beyond reproach so all of this has caught up to him and i don't feel bad for him he's been doing this for years still in jury lean and everything else so now we're going to go ahead and read the tmz article 
This just came out today. So while he was posting the other day trying to gaslight people and say, oh, people are just praying for his downfall. Nobody's praying for you, sir. We don't, we ain't, you have nothing going on for us to be praying for your downfall at all. We be minding our own business. We get caught up in your shit because you keep scamming, okay? So he tried to lie and gaslight people and say that it was just a bunch of haters and this and that. But now we're seeing that, uh, <laughs> no, the feds are really on his ass. He has been hit with 10 charges in a fraud and theft case and allegedly jacked $500,000 in jury. So this is real. This is real. They're saying here when Sean Kingston gets back to Florida, he'll be facing a mountain of charges in his fraud case. The cops hope, hold on, the cops claim he and his mother racked up around million, a million bucks worth of merch without paying. Damn, they're still in clothes too. According to the arrest warrant issued in Broward County, the singer is facing a total of 10 charges related to the raid um, last week, which was one of the, hold on, with one of the biggest being the alleged organized scheme to defraud several companies. Oh, that mugshot. In docs, authorities say that Sean and his mother, Janice Turner, um, ripped, off, ripped off a jeweler an exotic car dealer, and several other businesses for well into the six figures. For instance, the car dealer allegations is over a Cadillac Escalade worth $159,000, and the jury was a whopping 480 k That is insane. Um, Sean... <laughs> Sean also is facing grand theft charges of $86,568.33 for pieces of furniture, a custom bed, and other charges all related to defrauding banks and writing bad checks. Janice is facing a total of eight charges. Damn, she's facing just as many charges as her son. On um, one of the counts against Sean is a probation violation. He was on probation for trafficking stolen property. As we reported, he is scheduled to appear Tuesday in San Bernardino court for his extradition hearing before being sent back to Florida. He's been held without bail since last Thursday. So this is, I mean, this is like some pretty serious stuff right now that him and his mom are facing. <laughs> Somebody said she got a bald skullet. <laughs> I'm not fooling with the comment section. They are going in on her. They say she got a bald skullet. <laughs> not a stout mullet, but a bald skullet. Y'all are a mess. Yeah, something is wrong. Something is clearly wrong. I believe he learned a lot of this foolishness from the mother. I think that they had obtained a lifestyle that they got accustomed to, and they did not want to let go of that lifestyle. Him and Medea need to go to jail, okay? <laughs> Bye. Go to jail. They've been doing this for years. And again, the reason why I feel no sympathy, because if this was regular people, if you was out here scheming and scamming and, st and be like, oh, Justin Bieber sent me that's grand theft. You, you're just taking stuff and with the intentions of not paying for it. If you're out here writing bad checks and, you know what I'm saying, charging stuff on stolen credit cards or things that you had no intentions of paying back, you'd be in jail. So why should him and Medea get away with this? They both need, yeah, they both need the Medea go to jail, okay? This is a shame. This is a shame. But yeah, I, feel, I don't feel bad for him at all. He's been doing this for years. He's been doing this for years to honest business owners, you know what I'm saying? Imagine how much gas it takes to fuel a, you know, a private jet and get it over to you, send the mechanics, put the Wi-Fi on there. This company lost hundreds and thousands of dollars fooling with Sean Kingston, only for him to sit there and floss on social media and then try to badmouth the company. So he's definitely getting his karma. I know Justin somewhere like, yeah, I don't know him, okay? So yeah, he's out of there. He's he's trash. I don't feel bad for Sean Kingston. Oh yeah, let me show y'all this video. This now you know the mama's ratchet. She tried to come home the other day and do a celebration walk. We're gonna watch this really quick. I forgot about that. This was her celebration walk when she got out of jail. Just ratchets.
the bars, boy. When them know about the cash. Okay, they, they're playing music, but that's her dancing and celebrating, not realizing she about to get hit with eight charges. She put on a skull cap. A child. Yeah. You know, the fact that she's trying to, like, this lady is 61 years old. They got her on eight charges, including conducting an organized scheme to defraud Grand theft and identity theft. So yeah, these are some pretty serious charges that her and her son are facing. So I, yeah, I don't feel bad for neither one of them. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.